Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. I'm just hanging out here with Raiden and we have some exciting news. We got some eggs from some special females that I didn't even expect yet. I got some coffee brewing. I need some caffeine in my system because this is going to be an amazing video. Let me go grab that coffee, put Raiden back in her bin and we're gonna get this video started. So I wanna start this video off by making a toast to all you beautiful people that watch my video, to all the beautiful females, these beautiful breeder females that are filled up with eggs and they have curves in all the right places, if you know what I mean. Now here's to you guys. Here's to these beautiful females, and here's to the breeding season. All right guys, I'm really excited. The caffeine's starting to hit the blood system, and I wanna show you the first eggs of the season here at Cloud Colubrids. Let me show you what we got. All right, and here is Gretel, my head blue palmetto from Lee Abbott. We paired her with Hansel, also Het Blue Palmetto from Lee Abbott. I got these as babies, raised them up, started breeding them two years ago, all slugs. I bred them again last year, all slugs, no good eggs. So this was the final year that I was gonna breed these. And if I got slugs again, I was gonna try a different male, thinking that Hansel is infertile. But I think we have some pearly whites in here, so let's take a closer look. So now I'm here with Gretel and take a look at the bottom. What a beautiful surprise. From what I see, they look like good eggs. We're gonna open this up, take Gretel out and take a close look at these eggs. All right, I'm so excited right now. Let's take a look, open the top. Now I'm just gonna take this moss. I got this nice clean plastic over here so I could put the moss here and reuse it if I need to. Oh, this is the moment of truth. I could already see good eggs. Oh, I'm so excited. My hopes with this pairing is to produce some amazing palmetto babies. It would be my first palmetto that I produced. Of course, you're gonna get a lot of hets but I wanna prove this pair out and see if we have any visual palmettos. Wow, these are all good eggs. I don't even see one slug. Let me clean this up a little bit better. All right, guys, we have 12 good eggs here. I just counted them from Hansel and Gretel after years and years of only slugs from these two. Not even one slug here. So we might be onto something. Each year I try and change things a little bit differently. This year I bred them a couple of weeks earlier and I paired them about five times. The last two years I only gave them one or two locks. This year I tried five, or it might've even been six locks. I just wanted to make sure. And here is the result. And they're all beautifully formed and nice crest. And I'm not gonna separate these normally they're a little bit more all over the place, but these are just perfectly, perfectly positioned. So I'm gonna go get the vermiculite and get these eggs situated. All right, we're gonna set these up real quick. I'm using the same ones that I had from last year. These beautiful, beautiful, nice plastic bins. I got it filled with nice vermiculite. It's nice, just like sand. So we're just gonna moisten that up a little bit. I'll show you how I do that. I put one hole, one small pinhole on each side just for a little bit of airflow, no holes in the lid. Nice and moist, we put the eggs in, cover it up, put it in the incubator, put it in your closet if you have warm temperatures, however you do it. So let's do that right now. So we're just adding a little bit of water. Start off with a little bit and you can keep adding as you go along. Don't add too much. Once you're done, you could always add more, but you can't take it out. If you need to, you could add more vermiculite. 
if you put too much water and I have a good eye for this I've been doing this for a couple of years so I usually get it right on the first try it's just like seasoning the meat when you're cooking you could always add more seasoning taste season taste don't add too much seasoning at once it's gonna be hard to take it out so this is feeling just about right make sure you incorporate it really really good you don't want any dry patches and wet patches make sure it's nice and incorporated and now for the test I'm squeezing it as hard as I can there's no drips coming out but you see it holds its shape and if I press it it just starts to break up it's not wet it's damp just what you want for the perfect humidity now when you're putting them in be real gentle you don't want to disturb the eggs and the most important part keep them in the same form they were the way you found them even if you break the eggs apart don't turn the eggs over leave them exactly the way you found them and that's it so now we just cover it up no holes in this lid and we put them away Here's a picture of Hansel and Gretel from the Daytona 2019 Expo from my hotel room. I'm glad I still have this. You can check out the video, what I got, Daytona 2019. All right, so I've been going through all of the bins and last night I noticed paprika laid eggs when I lifted her egg box and all I saw were slugs. It doesn't look like there's any good eggs in there. Last year we had a great year so let's look and see exactly what we got going on so now we're just gonna gently take the moss off of paprika to take a look at these eggs and what i think next season i'm gonna do after taking them out of brumation feed them a couple of meals i'll try and get riddler in there with her a little bit earlier i may have been too late this year you can see we have a bunch of slugs there we do have three definite good eggs and one questionable a little bit of brown on the tipping so what I'm gonna do now put these away and I'm gonna feed paprika a couple of times let her get some strength back then I'm gonna put Riddler back in with her hopefully we get a second clutch and we get some good eggs from that one so we'll see what happens for those of you who are new to the channel and don't know paprika this is a quick shot of her outside in the sunlight so part of breeding snakes whether you're a new breeder or you've been doing this for 30 years when you pair this many snakes you're gonna get some that have slugs you're gonna get some great clutches it's never gonna be perfect and that's something you gotta learn as you go along at the first time i bred i already started counting i'm gonna have this many of this this many of that now i don't do that at all i just pair them I try and learn from the year prior if something didn't work I might pair a little bit earlier get a couple of more locks try and improve the chances of getting good eggs but it's never a guarantee so anytime you get good eggs just take it as a blessing all right guys so we're gonna wrap up this video with Pennywise in hand look how beautiful and high white this girl is beautiful girl from South Mountain Reptiles. Hopefully in a year or two, we'll be putting her into some breeding projects. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I check all of my comments. I really enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one. All right guys, so we're gonna set up these containers with the vermiculite right now for these beautiful eggs. But I wanna send these eggs off with a blessing before we put them in. So let's make a quick blessing for these eggs and let's hope that we get a couple of beautiful palmettos. I'm sure we're gonna get all kinds of nice, 
beautiful snakes from this clutch. So here's to these beautiful pearly whites. <laughs>